Welcome to another podcast here from our downtown studios. I'm with my man, Nick Mian from the Detailing Pros Sacramento owner. How you doing, brother? Appreciate you coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Leo. It's uh, It's been great. Yeah, owning uh, the Detailing Pros has been an interesting experience. It's been great here in Sacramento. And we'll get into that because we want to use this platform not just to talk Kings basketball, but to really showcase the local business owners, what it's like to own the business, how you guys contribute to the economy here locally. And we want to use this platform to empower you guys. That's what it's all about, in my opinion. And just real quick, tell them what this business is all about. Yeah, well, first of all, that's fantastic. I mean, there's nothing like local business and especially here in Sacramento. I mean, this is really Sacramento is a poster child to others, you know, bigger cities of homegrown mm -hmm. local businesses. I mean, we have the most small businesses opening. I, you know, I read the the magazines that come out, you know, SAC Biz and stuff like that. And, and SAC is just happening, man. It I is, love bro. it. Yeah, it's great. And it's booming. It's booming. It's growing. It is. And to have, you know, an organization like Cowbell Kingdom, you know, promoting these small businesses, I mean, what more can you ask for? It's, it's, it's amazing. It's been a great experience here in SAC uh, the last five years and, you know, getting to know you and E-Man and, and doing this Absolutely. whole experience is it's just great. So how did you start this business? How did you come across it? I know your background is in archaeology. Right. And, you know, sometime in the future, that is still your goal to just travel with your wife and just go look at awesome rocks, dinosaurs and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's always a misconception, you know, archaeology right. and dinosaurs. Kidding, by the way. Always, you know, <laughs> always. Kidding, yeah. By the way. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I'm married. I've been married going right. on 12 years this May. That is a and blessing. And I got two, two children, Jordan and Claire. And, uh, you know, it's, Two little archaeologists in the in the making. In the making, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, I came to SAC five years ago because I got accepted to SAC State, and I wanted to get my archaeology stingers degree. up. Stingers <laughs> up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Out, e man, yep. Yeah. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Psych. So it's uh, you know, I got my degree in archaeology, and then right. I do do about two to three jobs a year, and I love it. You know, there's nothing like digging up ten thousand year old fossils or or you know artifacts. It, it just mm -hmm. does it for me. You know, uh, however. Need something to pay the bills, right? And uh, I was looking for a part-time job. You know, I didn't want to work at McDonald's, certainly. And I had a background in, in car culture. And I thought, well, I'll just take up this detailing thing. You know, I used to do it back in the day. I'll just do it again. And, and little by little, it morphed into this business, you know, the detailing pros. You're a master detailer. Uh, master detailer, which right. Is, which is, we have to distinguish that, right? Well, according to my calculations, there's only two <laughs> master detailers in Sacramento. Ooh, you know, I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. and, it, and I take pride in that, you no know. Doubt. So I, I didn't know there was such a thing. But as soon as I found out that you can go get trained, become a master certified master detailer, I, I jumped on the opportunity. You know, and I, my detailing pros... Uh, franchise is located in Southern California, mm -hmm. Huntington Beach, California. Went down there for two weeks, got trained, and uh, every year we go back and brush up on new technologies, uh, new chemicals, things like that. We got detailing pros essentially all over the world. We got you right. know, Mexico City, Australia, St. Louis, Texas. And so just meeting up with those guys every year to go up on new technology and, and how they're doing, how I'm doing. It's great camaraderie, man, and it just the industry's changing. You know, we can go on a whole another segment about that, mm -hmm. but you know, the business has been great, and uh, yeah. So, how have you used social media to your advantage? How do you plan on using it? And I do want to ask you a little uh, question about one of the latest posts that you did, which was a quick tip, which I love. It's always important to educate your audience, right. which was. Steaming your ventilation system can significantly reduce any bacteria buildup. Talk about that a little bit. Sure, sure. So the first, the social media, you know, I, I, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, I'm all on, on those. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, any small business owners out there, you know how difficult that can be to maintain that and run a successful business at the right. same time. You know, you have to wear so many hats, as I'm sure you right. know. You know. Um, so, you know, having you guys on my side and, and having this collaboration is just fantastic. But yeah, I mean, there's, you know, and that's what goes along with being a certified master detailer is you, you get to know certain things like this. I, you know, I can look at your paint and tell you, okay, you got a little bit of clear coat. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you have a lot of clear coat. I can take down those water spots. I can take those scratches out. I can evaluate your vehicle to tell you exactly what I can do to your car. And this one in particular, I just posted this on Instagram. 
the gentleman had a smell coming out of his AC system. He said, uh, you know, every time I turn on my AC system, I got a funky smell coming in. Yeah. And, and that's common. Okay. And not everybody knows that there's a cabin air filter. So you have your air filter in the engine compartment, but you also have an air filter under the dash where all your AC air comes from. It goes through that air filter. And so if that filter's dirty, you're going to have that smell and that funkiness, you know? So, wow. so what I do is I steam clean the entire vehicle, seats, carpet, mats, headliner, especially. And then I send steam through the ventilation system to kind of disinfect anything that's in there. And then I, and I recommend them changing the cabin air filter. And then that essentially does the trick. Sounds like a master detailer. It's great. Yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, when I talk to, uh, you know, some of the other franchisees across the nation, you know, we go over some of these ideas and we're bouncing back and forth and learning from people that have been in the industry for a long time, you know, together, I think with all of us, I mean, it's over like a hundred years of experience it's Wild. with, with all the detailers that I'm a part of. So having that knowledge goes a long way. Wow. That is some awesome knowledge. Now, before we move on to some Kings basketball, right? Because I know you're a huge Kings fan. Oh, yeah. You contribute to the economy, and the Kings are a big part of this community. No, they really is. One of my last questions is, what type of deals are you having right now? You know, it's almost busy season. It's almost summer. Oh, yeah, almost. The, the rain, you know, we have a little bit of sunshine. It's been kind of on and off this whole week. It rains oh, yeah. a dozen week. It is, you're, you're a little bit slow when it's rainy. Right. But it's going to get super busy for you. What type of deals do you plan on offering? Sure, sure it is. Yeah, and, and the busy season is right around the corner, mm -hmm. and uh, rain has been unfortunate. As a mobile detailer, you know, we don't have a brick-and-mortar type building, um, which, you know, mo being mobile gives me flexibility, but it also limits right. my availability during the rainy season. So right now, you know, if you schedule a detail, you know, we'll give you a wax upgrade. Um, so we also have paint sealants, which can last up to a year, depending on the circumstances and how you maintain it. So if you get our ultimate detail package, it comes with a high-grade Carnuba wax already. And typically, we charge about $125 to upgrade to a paint sealant. But if you get that detail package right now, we'll just throw that in at no extra charge. So, I mean, saving $125 bucks is... That's yeah, saving money. <laughs> that's, that's saving, saving money. That's saving money. Right. And we, also, we also have an express detail package. That's you right. Know, if you're not looking to that's spend what, a ton of money... That's what, 150 Yeah, 150 and uh, that comes with a kind of a standard spray silica-based wax. Uh, and if you mm -hmm. get the express package in the next month, we're going to upgrade you to that high-grade Carnuba wax. And that's a six- to nine-month paint protection. Uh, so it, it's worth it to get it right now. Coming into the busy season, I mean, we get swamped, you know. Right. So, so right now would be the time to get on the schedule for sure. Absolutely. Real quick, some Kings basketball. Talk about the season, bro. I know you've been up and down with your emotions, kind of frustrated, but still looking long-term that this team is really damn good. Oh, man. That's that's to say the least. Right. And this has been a roller coaster of a year. You know, it started off really great. And you know what? Actually, I, I want to talk about the, the Shumpert, you know, trade perfect, and, and all perfect, that talk, perfect. right? Because E-Man's right there, man. Because E-Man's e right bro. there. And you know what? I, I watch your podcast right. and, and, you know, I dig your YouTube channel and, I, and right. I watch all that stuff. And, you know, not to mention I watch the comments and, and, and people that get involved. And, I mean, there's some diehard Kings fans here. Yeah. And, and it's just, I love it. You know, I love the camaraderie in this city. And I think that, you know, I think E-Man has a point And I think some people have a point where Shumpert was the locker room culture, you know? And, and he did bring that vibe and... He Look at him brought that. Over there. Look at him smiling yeah. over there. <laughs> you know, he, he did. He brought well, that. <laughs> right, right. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing for the players to have a leader like that to set okay. the pace and to set that, you know, the lady committee. And mm -hmm. then, you know, that's where all that scores and, mm -hmm. you know, scores are here. You know, mm -hmm. I remember Fox and, and uh, Bagley saying that at the, uh, the All Star. Yeah, the All Star game. And, and that was lovely. I love that. Right. But is that really what we need as an organization? And so I right. think with Barnes, now we have a different culture in the locker room. Now we have class. You know, right. that was kind of that hyphy turned up, yeah, right. let's get jiggy with it. Right. You know, mentality. Whereas Barnes is coming in and straight business. He's straight business. He's not taking all the credit for the team. Right. He's, you know, he's pawning it off. Hey, Willie Collinstein did great. Hey, Bagley did a number on on the board, right. you know. And so it's that culture now where it's 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 unselfish culture. Absolutely. And it's class. It's class, and I think that's going to go a long way for the team, for sure. And you being a business owner, I've always said this, and my, and my biggest argument with that whole Shumper thing was, at what point, as the leaders of your team, De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Hield, do you take accountability for the losses? At some point, right. you, ha you have to grow up. 
Well, and it's funny that you mentioned that because I think since the Shumpert trade, Fox has become a different person. Yeah. He became a leader, you know, and no you doubt. can see that. And not just leading by talking, he's leading by example, you know, and, exactly. and doing the things that make you a leader because honestly, the Kings, they don't really have that, you know. Right. You know, there's LeBron James and there's Kobe Bryant. The Kings need a person like that. And, although, and it has to be Fox. It has to be Fox. It, has to it be does. Fox. It, yeah. And it's possible. And right. you can see it, you know, over the course of the last season, you can see him stepping up to the plate and becoming he's that really leader. talented. I love to see it. Yeah. He's and, really and talented. He's super talented. Super yeah. talented. Class act, professional. Exactly. Has that jiggy with it, but he knows when to come out with that. He's very patient on right. the court. He gets everybody involved. And I'm super excited about his future. And, and the Kings will go as far as he takes them. Oh, yeah. I, I, I said that when... When the season started, I had the Kings winning 25 games, and I'm, and I'm not ashamed to say that I was wrong. <laughs> but so is the entire nation. Everyone had the Kings winning 25 games. Right. Like, that's okay to be wrong. And, and again, hold me accountable to it. And I said, I hope I'm wrong because I <laughs> want this team to make the playoffs, right? right? And after that buzzer beater that Bogdan hit against the Lakers, I was like, Kings are making the playoffs. And I was wrong again. But right. you know what? These tough losses, and you know, he had mentioned that yesterday that I stabbed everyone in the heart because of, of my comments about uh, the Kings losing three games against the Wizards, Lakers, and the Nets, right. that every game would have counted down the stretch, and it is true, but all these losses will get the group tighter and will give these kids learning experiences that they haven't had, and that's how you learn. By losing, right? It is. E e even in business, like you got to lose some money Absolutely. to learn. Absolutely. And not just money, it's, it's the experience. You right. know? And, and I don't ever consider, especially in business, a failure. You know, either you don't win or you're learning something. You know, you never really fail. And I think that goes to say with the Kings is, I mean, even if they did make the playoffs, let's be real. How far are they going to get yeah, in the playoffs? First round, you know? So the experience of just having this opportunity to work as a team, collaborate, having someone like Barnes come in, you know, he's got a championship ring. Right. You know, he can, he's really the inspiration for these guys. Right. Uh, so next season, man, I got to get my season passes, Leo, because there it is. Oh man, it's going to be one you won't want to miss for sure i can't say any better thank you so much again nick Nian, owner of the detailing pros sacramento that's thank right you so much yeah, brother come visit us absolutely not a problem i Leo. appreciate you coming on man. love you guys man it's been a pleasure thank you guys so much make sure to subscribe leave us a comment on itunes and watch us on igtv